All right, guys, I have to pee really badly, but poor decision making and not going during the ad break and StarCraft waits for no one. Speaking of StarCraft, we have spawning up here in the top left hand corner of the map, the blue Terran player representing his new team. Give it up for Major, whose team I totally just ele elevate. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. Invasion, Invasion Esports, okay. And his opponent, spawn down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. We have te representing Team Red Wolves. Give it up for Eric from Brazil. <laughs> yeah, and apparently I can't spell the chat as people are now pointing out. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another TVZ because you know what? Players from Latin America don't like Protoss very much, so we never actually get to cast Protoss. We haven't we haven't seen a single Protoss today, which does upset my Protoss heart a little bit. But it's okay because I'm learning more about TVZ and ZVZ and TVT and especially ZVZ, Ultralis versus Swarm Host, Lurker, all kinds of other. I don't even know what to make of that last game. That last game was so crazy. But uh, major, we're we're gonna have to address this. This is just a sad reality. Uh, people are expecting that Major's just going to stomp this. Like, very, very few people. In fact, I am really looking forward to seeing how the betting is going to go for this with the Partoofs. Because I'm anticipating a lot of people saying, okay, Major's, Major's just going to win this. Like, there's no way that Eric is going to be able to take this for Major. It's Major, right? Major is one of the foreign hopes. He's this absolute god who just randomly decides that he wants to play StarCraft occasionally when Pokemon gets a little bit too boring for him, or maybe when he's already hit max level on the latest Pokemon game, he goes and plays StarCraft and he dominates. And it's kind of the question of when he wants to dominate, not so much if he wants to dominate. So how does Eric make this work? Well, he's going for the earlier Roach Warren, and this is a map that, hey, going for the earlier Roach Warren, this is a map that's very, very conducive for early aggression. Uh, and we are going to be seeing, you know, nice and early command center. Early. Nothing super duper crazy aggressive out of Major just yet. But he does go up to that fast factor. He's not going for his fast 3cc build or anything like that on this map. And uh, we may end up seeing Eric get a bit more on the aggressive. He makes three roaches, a handful of zergans. He does start that roach production, um, or sorry, that uh, zergan production immediately afterwards. But this does allow him to get a little bit aggressive, to maybe put some pressure on the bunker, to try and walk around the bunker and delay some mining at that natural expansion. There's all kinds of things that he can do. And we'll see how effective it's going to be. He's even making a couple of Ravagers. Ravager is going to be great at potentially shutting down the bunker. But, oh my god, actually, the Marine is getting very, very aggressive out on the map now. They are going to be able to run away from the Roaches and the Ravagers. Going to be able to get back to the bunker in time. But there's only four Marines out. This is the entire safety line of uh, Major right now. And, yeah, he does have a Siege Tank coming out very soon. He's going to have a Medivac that's going to be very, very helpful with any additional aggression that comes out from Eric. But... Is it going to get very awkward as the SCVs try to repair? He's going to have to be careful of those corrosive bile shots, making sure the SCVs don't end up dying as well, because that is guaranteed damage as well. Uh, SCV is going to be able to do a fine job of repairing up that bunker, though, and it doesn't look like Eric's going for that. In fact, Eric has got to be careful about trapping or getting his Ravagers trapped over here. He's going to go after that Siege Shank. The Medivac is going to be out in a couple of seconds, so he should be able to save it for any kind of additional damage. But Eric, I guess the most amount of damage that he's really doing is just denying a bit of mining and killing off one or two workers here and there. Behind this, he is droning up. He's not going up to that Lair Tech or anything just yet. He's not going for a super fast two base play because he did invest quite a bit into uh getting up everything and though there it is he is going to go for a fast two base play maybe going to try and transition out a little bit sooner but major now going to be in a great position to uh potentially do his own form of counter aggression he didn't actually end up losing that many units we have three marines lost and two workers lost but that was a pretty big investment for eric he does sit up a decent chunk of workers and he is getting up his third expansion and everything but now he's got to use those units use those ravagers and zerglings that he had and uh, made to try and deal with this aggression and does pick off the widow mine very quickly that's actually really solid this is a pretty solid defense so far and uh it doesn't look like drones are getting target fired down so major gonna kill oh did he kill his own worker i think he killed his own worker but uh, Major is not going to be able to make a whole lot of damage happen just yet. Although, Light, uh, there's not a whole lot of defenses over here. In fact, if you look at the map, there's only two Roaches and a Ravager out. So even though I thought that this was a sort of a split up of units, they are going to be a little bit late to the party. And we're starting to see some more workers falling. 
five workers killed so far by major he's gonna end up having to pick up these uh these units over here and retreat on home but behind this major the scary thing about major is not actually his aggression it's not his micro although his micro is definitely not subpar is the fact that major always macros behind everything he does major is that unit or that player that just seems to have this weird number of units every single time he comes back into the game it's this weird situation where he loses an army or maybe trades okay but then suddenly he just has way more units than you would expect it behind it because he's so on top of constantly macroing out that army uh third command center also finished up playing along with that kind of mentality of make sure your macro is on point while the drop tries to come back in and see what damage it can do the medevac gets very very low on health does have to abandon two of the marines and that's going to be nice for eric as he also gets a medevac low enough on health one shot away from a queen that he doesn't have to really worry about it uh putting on any kind of more aggression he doesn't have to worry about more drops coming in for at least a little bit but starport has finished up that uh reactor and is starting to pump out some of his own medevacs so that, uh, that logic is not going to be true for very long, although a nice pickoff with the Ravager again to pick off on that final medevac as well as taking out those marines in it. Again, Major, his big scary thing is not his micro or his map awareness. Uh, not that he is terrible, I mean, but, uh, you know, losing that, losing that medevac, not exactly the most ideal situation. Would have been great if he brought that home and repaired it up or something. But double medevacs now making their way across the map. Eric has a decent number of roaches this time, though. He only has one Ravager. And that does make things a little bit awkward, because he has been going up to a Spire tech behind all this. Mutilus now going to be coming out. They're going to be popping out maybe 5 to 10 seconds a little bit on the later side after this uh, Medevac drop comes in. Oh, that does give Major time to spot out the Spire and say, Oh, no. Oh, hell no. I'm getting out of here. Uh, he doesn't want to deal with losing these Medevacs. He boosts on out, goes to the Watchtower, and says, Okay, I didn't really get an opportunity to do damage. But I didn't lose my medevacs. I got to scout out my opponent's spire. I can throw down some missile turrets if I want to. I can get up the defenses I need to defend against the Mutilus. Although the Marines are starting to go down very, very quickly. And Eric actually has a pretty scary army. There's 22 Marines out with a hand... Oh, okay, a handful of siege tanks in the sense that a siege tank is really big. And you can only fit one in your hand. He has a siege tank out on the map. And doesn't actually throw down any of those missile turrets. Doesn't actually take heed of the scouting information that he got. He's just going to rely on purely marines to try and deal with this mutals harassment. And the mutals should be able to get some damage on because there aren't that many marines out. At a minimum, he's going to be able to keep Major pinned back quite a bit. And potentially take a fourth expansion behind this as we do see the drone moving around trying to grab that fourth expansion. Finally, the missile turret is starting up. And yeah, a couple of the mutals did end up losing their lives. Oh, I guess one mutals ends up losing its life. But well, that's what I'm saying. This wasn't a ridiculous number of middles, so he didn't need to accomplish a ma major amount of damage, but he's already accomplishing a pretty decent amount. Ten workers killed so far by just five or six mutals. The mutals count is only going to grow, and this is a great map to have mutals on, just because the air distance is so, so short that he's going to be able to potentially try and shut down medevac drops. He's going to be able to uh, just make it a lot more awkward for medevacs to move across this giant gap over here. A major is not afraid. He is uh, sending those medevacs straight across the map, and Mutals are a bit out of position. Mutals looking for this medevac down here in the bottom right-hand corner. That's going to be a nice pickoff. The Roaches and Ravagers aren't too far away from the main base, so they can get into a decent position, but three Widow Mines. This is going to be very, very annoying aggression to deal with, but most of the Widow Mines already go off on these Roaches. Overseer gets started up, and this drop is not going to be super successful. Mutals finally clean up that drop on the other side of the map. They are not going to be able to engage this uh, medevac on the on the main base, but I don't think they really need to. Eric is looking really strong this game. I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. I think a lot of people were really saying Major, the absolute dominating force, looks like he's going to be in a great position. And even though, yes, Roaches are inflated supply, Eric's done a good job with the Mutals control. He's done a good job at defending. And if he can defend this fourth expansion, as it looks like his Roaches and Ravagers will be there in time to defend, I feel like he's just, he's starting to take a really, really solid army lead on top of keeping that economic lead. He's going to eventually be able to go for the big counterattack. And I don't know if Major's really going to be able to defend. Major may be really relying on the uh, the layout of Ol' Arena and saying, okay, you are going to have a very difficult time engaging through this choke. You're going to have to knock down these rocks. You're going to have to, you know, spend a bit more time doing things while I get up my army supply and you're just maxed out. 
Oh, drop coming back in over here. And oh no, Eric finally showing a bit of mortality with that uh, drop harassment defense. As he has been taking quite a few worker losses over there. As the Meatles were so close to being able to defend that without taking really any losses. But Medivac's coming out. Man, Major just doesn't afraid of anything, no matter how high the Meatles count gets. He is continuing this drop harassment, but you have to remember, he continues to lose these units, and we're starting to see Eric get a little bit further up in supply. Major is trying to replenish the supply as fast as possible, and dude, getting a good trade against the Meatles, but the Meatles now coming in against the Medivacs. Medivacs are going to be able to unload at this gold expansion, and oh, they managed to take a couple of these Mutalists. Not the best trades over here for Eric, but he does manage to clean up all the Marines. He is going to be able to clean up the Medivacs and uh, even kill off that final remaining Marauder. Major is just continuing to continue, like, repeated aggression, but he's sacrificing units, and this is, what again, what I'm afraid of for Major. Eric is starting to spiral out of control. This is a ridiculous army. He's maxed out. There's nothing holding him back besides 2-2 finishing up, but that's only 10 seconds. Major... You need to buy more time. Eric, as soon as he knocks down these rocks, like this, I don't really see anything that's going to be holding him back. He can even afford to leave a couple of his army units behind just in case he ends up dealing with some more medevac drops just to make sure he doesn't end up trading super duper awkwardly in a weird base trade situation. Well, Mutal's coming in to try and harass this fourth expansion. Major has to pull a majority of his army, half of his army, to deal with the medevacs. At the same time, Major goes for the drop harassment on the other side of the map, kills off some more workers. Major's been really good with these later half medevac drops as it does get harder and harder to defend. Oh, Eric losing track of his Mutal's a little bit. Does end up losing some of them. Uh-oh. I've seen a little bit of lag over there, but Major hopping in over here to the main base. Oh, man, who is lagging? I hope it's not me. I'm not dropping frames, so I don't think it is me. Eric, throwing out the pause. Yeah, uh, players just talking about how they are seeing some of that lag. I'm so sorry, guys. This is a pretty tense situation over here, as I feel like Eric can just walk across the map and potentially just go for the jugular right now. Um, all he has to do is knock down the rocks to make sure he's not going through some awkward, awkward choke. But once he does that, like, he's going to have gone in for the attack. Oh, well, here we go. We're back into it. Uh, drop in the main base for Major. It does get a little bit of damage. It looks like the lag has sorted itself out. Major force back. Fourth expansion is defended just barely. Uh, very, very barely. Oh, no. But the, um, it looks like the Widow Mine will survive a little bit longer. Kill off a little bit of that uh, larva. But here we go. Major going for the dune drop in the main base. Overlord scouts it out. Eric going to be retreating with all of his forces into the main base. There aren't exactly a lot of mutalists around. Oh, with the medevacs, they're already unloading, and I don't think this is going to be a safe place. Most of the mutalists are, or at least some of the mutalists are still alive, though, and they are going to be able to chase this back. Major loses more army supply that he really could not afford to lose. This is it. Eric finally feels confident. He charges across the map. As half of the army is still in the medevacs let alone in a good defensive position. He does manage to unload in time. But again, Eric has finally knocked down those rocks. He can finally go for it. He even has another base. Even if this base down over here, this fourth expansion, is very low on health, he has a potential fifth expansion that he can transfer any of his workers to. He's only sitting on 49 drones. That's like not exactly an amazing amount. But fungal growths in the mix. Corrosive miles. Eric. The Zerg player from Brazil saying, Oh, Major, I heard you beat Kelazor. I, you, I heard you've still been on a dominating stomp lately. I heard you joined a new team because you're doing so well. Well, guess what? Brazil is out for the jugular. I'm here for revenge for Kelazor. And he is looking to be in such a great position. And look at this. He's made it through his ch uh, the uh, choke points that he had to worry about. He shuts down the medevac drops that go into the main base. Major loses more army supply. He shuts down this fourth expansion. No way that Major could defend this. And this is, this is do or die over here from Major. He's sitting 171 to 200 supply, so he's not sitting too far behind. But he moves in to try and make some damage happen through the choke point. But Fungal Growth plus a couple of Ravagers can shut this down. And at the same time, Eric can come in from the other side and do some harassment. Oh, a lot of big Widowmine shots going off, actually. Oh, actually killing more of his Ravagers than he kills the Widowmines with there. Bit awkward. It's a bit, it's a standstill because Arena just doesn't really allow... Either of the players to easily move through this small choke point. And the rush distances are so small that whenever Eric tries to push in, whenever he finally feels like he's going to be able to put on the aggression, Major just tries to go for a counterattack, and Eric feels like he has to pull most of his army back. Wait, someone's saying that there's no combat shields. No, there's, def there's definitely combat shields. 
Unless Combat Shields wasn't finished three minutes ago, in which case, yes, I salute you, uh, person who said, I think it was uh, Naggle Waggles in the chat, saying there's no Combat Shields. So if that was the case, that is something I missed. Thank you for pointing it out. Corrosive Bios, or sorry, uh, Corruption going down on top of some of these buildings, just delaying a bit of that production. Fifth expansion does go down, though. That only leaves Eric with the low health expansion. This is getting a little bit awkward. Kindness plating is going to be finishing up. Plus, their carapace is going to be finishing up. This this has got to be the biggest do or die moment for Major, right? Like, Major has managed to take out one of the expansions. He's managed to shut down the economy quite a bit for Eric. If he's got to make something work, this is it. This is the time where he's in the main base of... Oh my god, he's got actually three medevacs that really cut unload and actually potentially take out this hive deck before the army got here. If he had unloaded everything, he looks like he will still be able to get the hive tech so it's not too bad of a situation but i feel like he still could have maybe taken out that uh plus three carapace upgrade could have done a little bit more damage but regardless he takes out the hive tech eric has got to go for it there's no way he can just sit around he's sitting almost maxed out he's gotten up his ultralis he's gotten up kytus blade and he's sitting on okay not the best melee upgrades but he's sitting on great armor upgrades this is the best situation he's ever going to be in for the remainder of this game where he's got a couple of these mutals out to deal with the medevacs he's got the ultras out he's got roaches he's got ravagers for splash damage he's got to shut down this fourth expansion and maybe honestly i don't even know if he goes for the fourth expansion i think that maybe you just go straight for the jugular Medivac drop coming back in. Met Mutalist trying to engage against this. The Mutalist see on 0 0 upgrades versus the 3 2 upgrades of Major. Gonna struggle to deal a lot of damage over there as those Marines and Marauders just do not die. Ultralist gonna be able to help out quite a bit with that though. And Eric is retreating. Eric, he's letting this game slip between his fingers. It's suddenly even supply. Eric's not ahead in supply and he's still got cost ineffective roaches. Oh, Eric. I don't like to talk about players that, uh, you know, are making mistakes and everything because I generally do try to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I really do feel like he's letting this game slip between his fingers. Major is doing a great job of just using multi-pronger aggression and pick apart Eric, even if Eric feel, even if I feel like Eric could have maybe walked across the map or something, he has put Eric in a situation where he doesn't feel like he could do that. He's done such a great job with this harassment and put Eric so far on the defensive, made him feel so paranoid about the potential for a comeback through base trades that Eric has just not been willing to go for the big engagement. He's never allowed Eric to feel like he could take a big engagement going through those awkward choke points so, so heavily that he wouldn't just end up dying to a counter-aggression. Oh, well. All right, Eric. What now? What now, Eric? This is a best of three. This is game number one of the winner's finals. The loser of this series does only go down to the loser's bracket. They do not get knocked out of the entire tournament. They still stand a chance, especially considering the only one will advance on from this entire qualifier. Only the winner of the grand finals moves on and gets that free paid trip to uh, WCS Shanghai. Erica's moving in. There's not even a fourth exp Okay, well, there's a command center over here. Cool. Eric, you don't need to go for that. You need to find an opportunity to move in. There's not that much of an army over here. You're going to be counterattacked. Eric, you have to realize this. Your last mining base is going to get taken out. You have to go for it. No, Eric, you can't move back. Oh, Eric, no. I'm starting to, I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel like I'm at a loss for words here. And the weird thing is, Major isn't even, like, making a lot of units that really deal very well with Ghost, or, sorry, Ultralist, because he just doesn't have an economy. He also does not have an economy. And I don't think that Eric is, like, down and out just yet, but we're on a situation where neither of these two players are mining. Look at that income graph, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that income graph. This is long-distance mining over... Or, sorry, this is actually just... I, I'm amazed that there are still mineral patches over here for Eric. I guess he transferred a lot of his workers very early on. But this is it. Major is not mining. Eric is barely mining. Surely, surely one of these players is going to engage into the other. No? No, it, it doesn't look like it. Alright, well, I mean, get get a couple of nice pickoffs over there. Kill him off a Liberator for a, a Ravager. That's not the worst situation in the world. 
Overseer is keeping an eye out on uh, potential new expansions like this one that I imagine Major wants to throw down all of his mules on, but I like the fact that he was a little bit hesitant about it. Didn't throw them down immediately because he realizes this this uh this command center could go down at any moment. But here we go, a large SCV transfer. And he's set up his Liberator zones. It's gonna be hard for Eric to transfer or uh, fight into this. Yes, Time Shifter, I really do like the jugular. Cause I feel like this has been, this is like a boxing match where both of the players have just been punching each other in the throats. Like forget about defensive, like, oh, I'm not, I'm gonna make sure I don't punch my opponent or like, I'm not worrying about defending my face or anything. No, it's like, I'm not worrying about defending and my opponent is punching my, punching me in the throat repeatedly. And I just don't care. I'm gonna compete punting them in the throat. And one of these two players is finally gonna be choked out, but I don't know which one it is. Because it's such a weird game. I feel like everything tells me Major should have been losing these engagements, but he's sitting on 3-3 upgrades now. He's gotten up a decent number of Liberators, and honestly, only the Ravagers really there to deal with the Liberators. But here we go. Finally, the big engagement we've been waiting for. Major it doesn't look like he's gonna stand a chance in this, but maybe with some good unit pathing. Uh, uh, oh my god, I the ultras are getting pretty low. Good kiting happens. These ultras are starting to fall. Is Major really gonna be able to take out these ultras? If he takes out the ultras, he's actually got a little bit of mining. He's gonna be able to start to reproduce some of these units now. Karos Eric does also have some mining of his own, but he shuts down the mining base of Major. I think. Oh god, Karos Biles taking out his own ultras. Not a situation you want to be in. But really, really good micro over here from Major. Like, he's not taking the worst engagements. He's also looking for a counterattack. Oh, God. Eric. Eric. He's pulling back. He's he shut down the mining base, sure. But the command center still lives. He's going to start to mine again. He's still got these SEVs. Oh, my God. Is this going to carry on? Are we going to go further into the situation where Major pulls Eric back once again, buys himself some more time? Buys himself time to get up more units, more marines and marauders. I'm... I'm speechless. I don't know what it is about these games with Eric. Last last series, it was Cham that was drawing out the game with Swarmos and everything. But this game, it's Eric. I'm starting to wonder if Eric just has... I don't know, like a problem identifying when he's ahead and when he can go for the big engagement. When he can just win the game. That may be a weakness of his, but here we go. He's taking some pretty good trades over here. Fungu Growths, in conjunction with Ravagers and Ultras, is still a godlike comp uh, combination. Zerglings also being able to shut down all of these SCVs. Major's down to just two or three SCVs. And even though he ends up taking a decent amount of damage on the other side of the map, the, the uh, Hatchery stays alive, and so do most of the drones. I think finally, finally, Eric may just be whittling away major little by little this is i mean if you want to talk about spoon terran what does that make eric this is like the newspaper zerg he's just hammering away at a major with a newspaper repeatedly swatting away the flies of all of these drops slowly whittling away at the damage and eventually he's gonna be able to take out major potentially maybe <laughs> He's taking a lot of damage in his own right. But this one Ultralis may be enough to defend this fourth. This is the Ultralis he needed. The home Ultralis. The one that will defend the home ground. The home terrain. Fourth expansion gets taken out once again. Eric, you Brazilian beautiful. You beautiful Brazilian. End the game. I feel like you can. Major's literally not mining! You are! Don't pull back your entire army to deal with the drop, please! I, I believe in you. Oh god, the Ultra's Cavern's gonna get taken out. Okay, he's finally doing it. He's finally just going for it. Fungal Girl's going down. Major has 15 Marines, a two Marauders to deal with three Ultralis, four Infestors. GG gets called! Finally! We end up seeing Eric walking away victorious.